Hey guys, it's Allison, and today I'm going to film a five tips on how to keep your saddle looking great for years to come. So the first tip, it's the importance of quality stirrup leathers. If you have a calfskin saddle, you're going to want to use soft calfskin stirrup leather. I always see people using stirrup leathers that aren't soft and then their saddle pays the price. There's rubbing, wearing through the leather. So these are my stirrup leathers that I use on my dressage saddle. They're the Bates ones. They're pretty soft and I think they're calfskin. Try some quality stirrup leathers also to keep them clean because sometimes sand can get stuck to them and then it rubs against the leather flap of your saddle and can cause damage. The second tip is to wipe down with a damp cloth after every ride. Buildup of dirt and everything, just like the stirrup leathers, can cause damage to your saddle flap. The rubbing of the sand and dirt can cause wear to your leather. The third tip is to use leather cleaner sparingly. Um, sometimes I find that it can wear down the leather some more, so if you just use a damp cloth like the re previous tip, then you won't be wearing through the leather as fast or making it dry. So some great leather cleaners that I have found to work really good on saddles and are not too harsh is this FX Leather Combi. It's a leather, con leather cleaner. I like it a lot. It works really well. It cuts some great dirt. The fourth tip is to follow up your regular cleanings with a deep conditioner. The conditioners that I have found that are really good for your saddle for deep conditioning are, these three products are really great for deep conditioning saddles. So first I'll go over like a few of them. This is the Belvior Leather Balsam. It's great, great stuff. This is what I've been using the longest. It's the FX Leather Balsam. But this stuff I just apply with my hands because I found that it sticks to a sponge. It doesn't really get on your saddle and yeah. So this stuff is really, really nice. The only thing that I found that it does is it does darken your leather a bit, which to me it doesn't matter because my saddle is black anyway, but just be aware if you have a lighter color saddle. And the last one that I like for deep conditioning your saddle is this Passier Leather Balsam. It's great stuff. All, they're all about the same. This one doesn't darken as much as the other Leather Balsam does, the FX, but yeah, they're great for deep conditioning and I also applied this with my hand because it's a lot easier to get into cracks and it doesn't just get wasted in the sponge. You should never really use oil on your saddle. I think it's too strong. Um, definitely condition before you're, like if you bought a new saddle, definitely condition before you use it for the first time. And oil can separate the leather from its back. So like on the seat of your saddle, there's um, a foam backing and sometimes they're glued together, which is seems so cheap, but um, oil can separate the leather from the foam backing. So you really don't want that and that causes ripple disformities in the leather, which you definitely do not want. And the fifth tip is Kind of seems like a no-brainer to me, but I guess it's like one of my huge pet peeves. Um, wear breeches in your saddle. Soft breeches. I see so many people riding in jeans and I'm like, oh my god, I can never ever use jeans in my saddle. Uh, jeans are really coarse and they can wear through the leather really a lot faster. That's why they make full seat breeches with suede or leather. And that's why they also make soft cloth breeches so they don't wear through the leather. Also, it leaves marks on your seat from like the seams. Yeah, it just seems like a no-brainer to me. I don't know. Some people like to do it. It's, if you like to do it, no offense, but I think it's insane. You spend a ton of money on a saddle. They're not cheap to have repaired if you need to. And you really just want them to last forever. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos from me.